Gokar, one of your students, Karin Darabedian, is going to be competing at EBI3. What can you tell people that don't know who Karin is? Tell us a little bit about him. Uh, Karin is one of the uh, uh, nicest guy up there. Uh, you know, you, I never see this guy angry or or anything like. He's always very calm, and he comes uh, training with me when he was 15, something like that. Uh, his background was uh, he. I think he started karate or something in the Bay Area when he's a young kid. Then he he was so good and he took boxing and amateur boxing and he competed, I think 14, oh, and he was winning 14 matches. But his father, he wants his son to be a boxer, but uh, he wants to do a grappling and he wants to do be an MMA fighter. He. He grew up at this school, actually. He grew up here, and every day I see him, it's getting better and better and better. He's very good. It's uh, He started competing and everything, and then after his father died, and kind of, he stopped competing. I don't know why, that's psychologically, uh, something happened to him, and you know. And I love him like, uh, like my, another son to me, you know. And, um, about this tournament, I, I actually I was I'm very happy he's doing this tournament because if he doesn't do this tournament, then I don't know maybe in another year he's not going to compete. So many times uh, he decided to compete something and then he decided not and then he have to lose weight and he get a little lazy to lose weight, stuff like that. But he's a very talented kid, unbelievable talented. He doesn't train as much as he trained. The other people are training like crazy. Even the small training and he, the talent is unbelievable big and he's, he's doing so good. He's the one of the best uh, grappler in my place. And we have a lot of good ones and he's the one of the best. And um, the hoping he's gonna have a very good fighters on the, he, he, he's, that's what he's looking. He said, Sensei Gokor is just, I'm, anybody I fight, it's kind of easy for me. You know, he's looking somebody challenge. He's looking somebody stronger. Last world championship, he went to the black belt division in the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He, he beat the very stronger guy. And that guy win like three or four times in a row. I don't really remember his name, but Khan and choke him out right away and finish him, you know, and actually he took first place that tournament with another guys too. But um, uh, I think this is more serious for Karin because some type of tournament you go and uh, not too many people there. They consider it a world championship, but you, do, you don't see too many people there. But this is a 16 main contest, yes, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. They choose all the good guys to go against each other. I think this is uh, serious, and this is what the car is looking for. Yeah. Do you think that uh, winning by leg lock is the most likely outcome in his match? Uh, you will be surprised. Uh, see, Karin is fighting. Uh, uh, Karin is it's head to toe. You know, it's like a lot of people really thinking the oh, coming to Go Course Academy is going to do a lot of leg locks. I, a lot of time I explain to people the reason why we do leg lock because we know how to do it and plus we see the other people uh, weakness. So I see it 80 to 90% other people don't know anything about leg locks and they, they kind of they think they know but they don't know. And I tell them my students, I say, well, go for it and just leg lock them and because that's the weak parts they have because they don't know what to do. They don't know how to defense and everything. So this is the only part that everybody thinks, oh, we are only leg lock players, but not. So the, the current will surprise the people. They will surprise. They will do a lot of arm bars. You look at Ronda Rousey. Everybody, she, she trained with me from the kit, but look at this. She, every time she catch people, arm bar, arm bar, arm bar. I, you never see a leg lock, yes? But uh, current is going to be uh, from head to toes. So and. The one thing is, uh, <laughs> I feel bad to the per people, they want to catch leg lock to Karen. I don't think so anybody in the world and this planet can catch a leg lock Karen. I cannot catch leg lock Karen, I catch everybody. So, wishing everybody good luck, so this is good for me, I'm so, so happy. Because Karen finally is going to have a, uh, his uh, 
his fun with the tough guys, you know. Yeah. This is what he wants. As you mentioned, it is a 16-man tournament, and there are, maybe surprisingly, some really good leg lockers in yes. this tournament. A couple yes. guys from Henzo's Academy are really good at leg locks, and Rico Coco, who's an ADCC veteran, is also a great leg locker. So it, we should see some really exciting leg lock battles. Yeah, yeah. That, you know, believe me, I'll be honest with you, I don't worry about any of those guys going to catch caught in leg locks. None of those guys... And if they hear this, that basically they don't supposed to even try it because if they try it, they're gonna be surprised. <laughs> you know, the Karen has a lot of different type of surprises for them. And uh, and I meet the one of the guy uh, the last tournament I was there. He come and uh, shake my hands and he, he, he said, "Kokor, I I study a lot from your DVDs." And he's the one of the beat up everybody like luck. And uh, he's the one of the also Karen's division. And I told the, I said, Karen, it's, uh, it's a very good. And he said, you know, I'm looking forward to fight Karen. And then when I, we talk about Karen, he said, oh, no, I don't want to hear it because now I'm getting scared. <laughs> I, and uh, the guy was very good guy. Looks like a very nice guy. He beat, uh, I think he was a super fight. In, uh, and Karen knows the name. Gary I, Tonin, I think. I right. think so. I think so. Nice, very, very, very nice guy. Looks like a very, very good grappler. But uh, like I say, Karen is looking forward very very much to have a good fighters because that's what he looks because he said i will never know how good i am until i get the very very good guys so far we have a lot of lot of very very good guys are coming here big names and everything i don't want to mention it karen play with them so so far nobody's good for karen yet so i'm excited myself only the things uh, i worry uh, uh, like I mentioned earlier, the Karen doesn't train as much, as much as the other people training, going to tournament all the time. You know, the training is a different side than uh, the tournament. Mm -hmm. Tournament is another experience, another thing. So the more you do tournament, then more you find out what is wrong with you, if endurance is good or uh, any other things are wrong. So then you correct yourself till you come to the dojo and fix it. Karen have that fixes in many, many years. So that's the only things uh, I will tell about, uh, uh, negative about it. But everything else, he looks like a tank, you know? Right. He moves a tank, he's very flexible. His submissions are crazy from head to toe. And whenever he, he goes for it, then he goes and get it. And so far, people not skipped. And if they skip, they get um, combined combination to get another things on and so so let's see we have a good style so everybody comes here and train and they said whatever the style they train there's an amateur they come to here and said yours is a pro so hoping uh, Karen will prove that you know I've known you in uh, GoCore for a long time, but um, and I know how talented you are, but not a lot of people outside know you. You, know, you don't compete at, at big jiu-jitsu tournaments very often and stuff. Um, do you think that you're going to surprise some people? I, I honestly think I'm going to surprise a lot of people. Uh, uh, I mean, looking at my WC track record, I mean, it doesn't say much about my grappling skills, but I've been grappling a long time 